This video is sponsored by Cuts. <laughs> I'm not bougie. <gasps> what? Oh my god, what is that? So I just moved in with a complete stranger and this is our second week living together. It's kind of weird not having our own personal space, especially because Taylor has been living by herself for such a long time. So whenever I need free time from Taylor, I'll step out into my car and just relax. But this afternoon, I got a really exciting text from Taylor. This is now our second week of living together and we've learned a lot about each other. We decided that once a week we're going to go on a crazy excursion and this is week number two. Taylor took it upon herself to plan an amazing adventure for us. So I packed my bags and I was getting ready for an adventure. To me it's really refreshing because I always plan out all the dates I ever go on. To know that she was thoughtful enough to put in the effort to plan out a trip for me to enjoy. It's just really exciting when people put an effort into you. I think the concept of living with a complete stranger is a scary process, but on the other side of comfort is where you truly grow and make human connection. So, you happy with your intro sequence? <laughs> I guess we'll see it in post, won't we? There's not that much space in my car right here. Let's go sit in the back. That's the most <laughs> boy shit I've ever heard. <laughs> so, why are you packing your bags? So, I told you I moved in with that random stranger for a month, right? Well, it's our second week living together, and she's wow. actually taking me on a surprise trip to New Hampshire. New Hampshire? <laughs> What's in New Hampshire? I honestly think it's a camping trip. There's a lot of like greenery in New Hampshire, so it'd be perfect because there's nothing out there. So you're going camping with this girl you just met. Why? What's the worst that could happen, you know? She murders you, puts you in her trunk, tosses you off a bridge. <laughs> and about 65% of you guys are not subscribed now, so please freaking subscribe because I need some brand deals so I can get more epic content to you guys. One of these days, I want to be giving out thousands of dollars to crazy people like Mr. Beast. So if you guys haven't caught up yet, on my bucket list has always been to move in with a complete stranger. So I found a girl from Hinge, we went on two dates, and now we live together. We just finished finished our first week of living together and now we're on to the second week. This second week has been pretty slow. We've mostly been sitting around watching movies, cooking dinner, getting work done. I saw you down. Yeah, like she was excited for this. Holy capoli. Oh <laughs> my god. Really? Alright, what are you gonna eat first? Okay, mushrooms, tomato, potato. <laughs> also tomato. Salad with mystery dressing that I started to make with some fresh syrup. <laughs> What'd you do? What do you That's mean? That's amazing. You think so? <laughs> Try the Brussels sprout, that would be my favorite, I think. <laughs> oh my god, no, it makes it so good with everything. Yeah, I'm so glad. Hey, man, I'm be so sad when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't tell the sky from the ground. Oh, Netflix. To be honest, I never really watched movies growing up. But for Taylor, I wanted to try something new. And being a little bit lazy was nice. But we've actually been going to the gym consistently. Taylor is low-key dumb thick and I'm working on it. There isn't that much to do in Meriden, but it's been nice to just relax and kick back. Kind of feels like we're an old married couple. Taylor and I agreed to go on one crazy adventure every single week. Last week we went on a crazy adventure to New York City and this week Taylor is planning out a surprise adventure for us. Sometimes I hate packing for trips because I never know what to pack for. Should I pack to be comfortable? or should I pack to be stylish? I'm with a cute girl, so obviously I want to look good, but I don't want to pack too much to carry while traveling. And that transitions us into the sponsor of today's video, a sponsor that I'm so freaking excited for. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys might have guessed that it's actually Cuts Clothing. I actually just got a package. Cut sent me four different items. This is part of their new fall collection. Let's check them out. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's so nice. Ah. Cuts literally makes the best, most premium t-shirts I've ever worn. With different cut designs and hem lengths, these are literally the best t-shirts in the game. If you don't know whether to pack for comfort or style, buy these shirts and you'll never have to think again. Look how stretchy they are. So stretchy. I've literally traveled to one fourth of the world, 49 states and eight Canadian provinces. I slept on the streets, I lived in a hammock, and I went on dates and also went clubbing. I would have killed for a product like this. Here's where you guys can really help me out. If you guys like my videos and you want to support, I signed with Cuts. Cuts said they'd be interested in a long-term contract. If I get a long-term contract, I'll be able to help yeah. out more people. People yeah. like Mike. I'm glad you like oh, it. Wow. 
Everything in here is yours. Everything! Yeah. And hopefully I can start to give back Thank to you, you guys. God, if you're a fan of me and the channel and you want to support, please use my discount code PhilipVu to get 15% off your purchase. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Thanks, Vu Crew, and back to the video. Where are we going today? Why are we going to New Hampshire? So I booked a cabin. The romantic cabin that away. Alright, so what exactly did you roll me into? Before we met, I had booked this cabin. What's the cabin for? It's literally a getaway house in the middle of the woods. So what is appealing about this cabin? It's so pretty. It's literally like this giant window. Like you walk into the cabin and then... Did you feel very stressed yeah. or something? You're bringing your handsome, dashing young day to cabin. Elmwood. Should I be concerned? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do see how much you work out, and honestly, I don't know if I can take you. Good to have. By the way, guys, I just want to warn you that throughout the next like eight minutes, I might have a slight lisp, and that's because I'm wearing my retainers. My voice kind of sounds a little bit funky. Just want to let you guys know. What have you been feeling stressed about? I don't know what I want. Like in a partner or in working or like career-wise, everything else would be. You know what I want. Really? Go ahead, tell me what you want in life. I want to travel the world. Is that why you matched with me? No. <laughs> so why did you match with me? Well, I thought you were cute and then also I did see that you traveled and I was like, oh that's cool. It seemed like we would have stuff in common and here we are. So after interrogating Taylor, I enjoyed the car ride while becoming a nuisance to her. Probably wasn't the best idea because she was driving, but we made it alive. You know what they saw at Dick's? Oh, I just slept through that entire car ride. What the heck? You didn't wake me up one time. That's okay. Oh. You didn't even stop by the store and get groceries. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna starve to death? Yeah. Oh my god, the shadows. I think it looks so pretty right now. Oh my goodness graciousness. This is it? So oh god. <sighs> What's up? Whoa. We hope you enjoy your tiny sanctuary. Be well and enjoy s'mores on us. Aww. I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Gotta cry right now. Maybe later. Ow. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like we were two kids just playing around. Though I lived with her, I didn't even realize she was stressed. I want to be there for her, but I have to realize that I'm just a stranger, and it'll take time for her to trust me. <laughs> it's not nighttime. <laughs> So now that we just got in, let me show you guys the place we're staying at. There's this cool vintage radio that actually has a real aux and this old phone. Not sure if it works. The getaway house or getaway cabin is this cabin that's in the woods. It's kind of like a glamping thing. Central AC powered, lighted, there's no Wi-Fi. And I think the biggest appealing thing is this massive pane glass window that you look out into the woods and it just seems like you are immersed in nature. I camp all the time. I've never really enjoyed glamping. I think if I have a lady friend, this could be a really good alternative. I think the cabin costs around like $300 a night normally, which is really expensive for just one night. But Taylor got it on sale on a weekday for $200, I think. By the way, this is not sponsored. Oh, I just killed one of the biggest mosquitoes, Taylor, look. Ooh, Isn't that crazy? Why do you always do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> when like a dog kills something and then it just gives it sense. Oh, you know one thing. Here's head scratching. There's an electric stove and this cool teapot. This needs to be fixed. Smoking is not permitted. No toking up, bro. <laughs> Here's some guidelines for the cabin. I'm too lazy to read them, so pause them if you want. Check out this really cool lantern. Unfortunately, it didn't work though. And this is the bathroom. It's a little bit small, but kind of cozy. To be honest, I don't think the warm water was working, but the soap and stuff were really nice. I didn't use them though, to be honest. Stepro, why are you in my bedroom? Stepsis, what are you doing? <laughs> this is... Oh, you can dim the lights. You can dim the lights? Yep. Oh, God. Damn, girl. What, what, what are you doing? Stepsis. Stepro. I'm gonna raise the temperature just a 
There, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For- we still didn't have any food, so we needed to go to the grocery store, but every time we tried to leave, we kept messing around and shoving and pushing each other. At one point, we started even having a pillow fight. Place your bets. Who do you think will win? I think I took this one. And his name is John C. It doesn't even look like there's a window here. It just looks like there's nothing. That's crazy. That's crazy. How's the view? So pretty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is really pretty. I'm not exactly sure how, but we ended up having an impromptu photo shoot here. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what I was thinking with this last one. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, Taylor and I spent like an hour taking Instagram photos. <laughs> God, I hate us. <sighs> but Taylor was right, the place was so freaking beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so where are we going right now? To Shaw's. Apparently the same Shaw's grocery store that Taylor went to with her mom. Literally like last week, what the f- that's crazy. I went to that Applebee's. So you eat at Applebee's? When I watch their commercials, I always think to myself, who the hell actually eats at Applebee's? <laughs> is it, is, you think it's good? Give me a rating, what, what was the food like? I don't think anyone knows what the food is like there. Like a 7.5? That's pretty solid, eh? I mean, I had like a burrito bowl, like you can't really f*** that up. There's like literally Chipotle across the street. I didn't want to like shit my pants. Wait, Chipotle makes you shit your pants? A little bit, yeah. What the f***, what? Doesn't it make everybody? No! You what? definitely shit your pants when you eat chipotle. Are you, are you listening to yourself right now? Yeah. Alright guys, you need to an answer in the comments below. Do you guys shit yourself when you eat chipotle? And if you eat chipotle and shit yourself, do you still keep eating it? It, it just baffles my mind. I'm, how would you eat something that makes you shit yourself? I, it just doesn't make any sense. You think I shit my pants when I eat Chipotle? <laughs> no! What the freak? Taylor and I ended up at the grocery store. I bought all the groceries because I cook for Taylor all the time and I wanted to chef her up one of my favorite meals. So while Taylor's doing her homework, I'm gonna be cooking in the kitchen and we're gonna be doing it right next to each other because she can smell my amazing cooking from right here. I'm Chef Philip in the house. One handed, no problem. Oh yeah. Easy. Easy. We mix it up. Except James Harden. You mix it up. So for today, I'm cooking her a beautiful ribeye steak. Of course, we had to put some garlic. Basted the steak with the oil and the fats. Instant mashed potatoes because I'm lazy. My trick is I add a little bit of eggs to the mashed potatoes to make them a little bit more creamy. Added some fried eggs and a little bit of cracked black pepper that they had at the cabin. Mmm, my favorite. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look at my All right, it's time. Oh, beautiful looking steak. Oh my god. <gasps> what? Mm. That's so good. I'm good, thank you. Nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, God, all my knees. I don't know how girls do this shit. Mm. Oh, boy, that's so good. Mm. Mm. Everything feels so good together. That's the best damn broccoli I've made. It's pretty good. Oh, it's so crispy. Growing up, I didn't really like to eat out that much. But what I learned from my grandma is despite whatever language you speak, food is always going to be universal. Why I love cooking food for people is because I want to be the reason why they're joyous and happy. I think maybe this is why old married couples always make sure to spend dinner together. Honestly, work is a little bit stressful. She's always doing schoolwork while I'm working constantly on my laptop. But at the end of everything, we always make sure to spend our meals together. It's a great way to be able to communicate, share some laughs, and make sure that this experiment that we're doing of living together as strangers doesn't go haywire. By the way, I know everyone is wondering how my twerking skills are going nowadays. Let me update you guys. 
So this is Taylor and she's a certified thick baddie. She has been twerking for her entire life. I don't know, I actually made that up, but she's really good at it. She's been trying to teach me for the longest time and to be honest, I think I've actually gotten worse. I don't even know how that's possible. I thought that was enough training for the night, so we decided to make some hot chocolate. While we were waiting for the hot chocolate to finish, I thought it would be a good idea to go outside and start the fire. Alright, before you guys continue, I just want to let you guys know that this next part is not very typical of any of my videos. You're going to see a very different side of me. I'm a little nervous. I take a lot of pride on how every time I meet any one of my fans, that's so weird to think I have fans. Anytime I meet anyone part of the Voo crew, you guys always mention that I'm the same off camera as I am on camera, but this side of me is like this cracked out weird side. Me and Taylor are watching a little bit too much Emma Chamberlain, I think. We honestly sound like we're high the entire next eight minutes of this footage, I think. Please don't judge. But if you guys like it, let me know and I'll make more videos like this. We're starting a campfire right now. Experience starting a campfire? No. Alright, we'll figure this out. I know the campfire song song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can sing that while I'm making the fire. Caution campfire kit. Perfect. Leave. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Damn it, I was gonna put a baby in there. <laughs> Shit, you can't put a baby in there? No, I was gonna. God damn. Oh my god, that's exactly my plans are good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, oh. Oh. What is, what is it? Fire started. How much did this cost? Two hundred. It's actually not too bad. Well, I got because it was on a weekday, it was like a hundred dollars off. Only like three hundred. Yeah. Three ninety nine. I mean, I would never pay 200 to camp because I camp all the time, but... <laughs> God, look at these. This is so bougie. The freaking camp, the firewood has a handle bougie to it. Bougie is all we do. <gasps> oh my God, what is that? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God, I feel like they're in my asshole thing. <laughs> Holy shit, there's so many. No, like I really Are they stuck in like... there? Oh my God, no, I'm gonna choke. I can't. They're so... I, no, they're... We could have cut the steak on here. I think we could go hunting for Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Bigfoot would be here no, in New Hampshire. You see that? What? I swear, I saw like some don't like me. eyes. I saw, I saw some. Like, no, seriously. Don't do that, I swear, I saw some like. I got... <laughs> do you hear that? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Dude, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is like some Flare Witch Project shit. Like, <laughs> what Wait, what happens? Who dies? Everyone? Oh no. Yeah. Even the Asian guy? Yeah, I didn't, there's an, I didn't know. I don't know. I, I haven't watched this movie. I don't know. I I'm more upset that there's no Asian representation than. Well, you can be it, but you're probably just gonna die because everyone dies. I'm still in the movie though. <laughs> 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 You gotta cut this open. Oh, that was actually. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I feel bad making you do all the work, but I would usually do all the work for you, so. We got a nice little. A fire starter? Chocolate bar. Hey, what are you doing? Is that how you start it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I told you. Oh my god. Mm. I have to close. Yeah. Put it in, put it in. That's what she said. <laughs> but, ASMR. Okay. ASMR. Sounds like you're fumbling for the condom wrapper. I open it. <laughs> what does it smell like? Gasoline. Is that the hot chocolate? <laughs> Fuck. I'm not sure how, but we forgot the freaking hot chocolate. <laughs> she was. <laughs> <laughs> You've only been gone for like 12 minutes. Oh 12 yeah. 12 minutes on high. Are you okay? <laughs> because it's imported, we have to, you know, be careful with it. So. Yeah, this is imported Swiss. <laughs> you gotta get it all to the bottom because that's where the flavor comes from. <laughs> oh, it's oh, like oh, that smells, but not. That smells like just like the Alps. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special tin too, right? Sorry, shake it a little bit. Oh, just so it coats the bottom. Yeah. A little more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Steam okay. Up in here. But we can't be dramatic about it. Yeah. yeah. We don't. We, why don't we put an egg in it too? Sheesh. Hey, good ideas only. <laughs> For this recipe, you actually only need the egg yolk, so I'm gonna carefully... You guys think that I'm gonna screw it up, but I'm not. I watched Joshua Weissman do this. Oh, yeah. You're gonna take it in, and then you're gonna stir. This is gonna be the best Viennese hot chocolate of your life. <laughs> what happened? What the f... How did that happen? I told you not to pour so much water in it! Fuck it! Oh my god, we should've used a fork to mix it! There was no fork! Oh my... That's all I normally put in anyways, just the tip. Just I would have a Chamberlain do this by herself. Like, I'd feel like an idiot. I mean, I'm just like this by myself. Dumb. Yeah, literally. I can't believe you freaking spilled it everywhere. That was your fault. Such a character. I told you not to put so much water in. 
I I ain't never seen anything magnetic. It's wood though. That's the crazy. That, it's wood. Yeah, that's like it's like there's a piece of metal underneath or something. That's, that's like crazy. Magnet. That's ma that's crazy. You, it's like you try to knock on wood. It doesn't work. You still create into a car crash. You know? It's not magnet. Crazy. It's shit. like science or something. Physics. No, oh, that's good. Oh, it does stick. <laughs> Alright, let's go just okay, start the fire before part. I shit my pants. <laughs> I was hoping okay. you'd fart. Okay, wait, wait, I might like have to. Okay, yeah, go ahead. No, no, because I'm going poop. <laughs> yeah, go suck on it. <laughs> is anyone gonna wash this vlog? This is like, it's kind of like bamboo sticks. You me like my mom? Just <laughs> <laughs> thought about it and it's fucking literally water. Ew, the egg is too. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, ready to go. That's fire, dude. If I have to bite my hot chocolate, there's a problem. <laughs> Speaking of fire, we should go. We should go start it. Fucked around for like 40 minutes inside doing nothing. Yeah, like us in the grocery store. Why do you want to see the ants again? When you, I don't. <laughs> 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 oh, sugar! I set myself on fire. You say? <laughs> Holy shit! No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I thought you were gonna spit in my mouth. <laughs> I was so scared you're gonna spit in my mouth. I was gonna like it. <laughs> Yo, oh, that's lit. You wanna see some cool shit? Look at these. Wait, you're on my white shoes. Wait, you're on my white shoes. <laughs> I can bleach them for you. Get in the fire, get in the fire. Where are you going anyways? Taylor's just being weird even off camera now. I don't even understand. <laughs> I think it's the air. <laughs> I love it, this is the air. <laughs> don't drag it. <laughs> She's just mad because she didn't make it on Love Island. Her accent's too shit. It's too shot. Not shit. Your English accent is absolutely terrible. So we got the marshmallows and Is this touch screen? <laughs> We're gonna get a glass shard. Are you gonna try to like her photo? Hey, put in, put in. Crossing swords. Oh my god. Oh my god, yours is burned now. No, it's okay. You ain't never seen this done before. Oh, I guess vegan marshmallows don't <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys have ever had vegan marshmallows, but they're absolutely terrible. Usually you could just pull them. Yeah, I know. But it's still burned though, and that's really cancerous. I mean, my mom already had cancer, so like I could probably already have it too. Yeah, but is she alive? Yeah, but... Like, <laughs> Lucky! Oh. No! <laughs> Bro, you had one fucking job. Ow! Stop, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Like, not bad, That's I guess. terrible. Okay. These marshmallows are ridiculous. Stop. Yours is not bad. No, I'm talking. Oh, it, like, bypass my glasses. <laughs> hmm. <I don't> know. <laughs> How is it? This is like a failure of a night. This marshmallow is cold as shit for something that was in the fire for 20 minutes. The weird thing about vegan marshmallows is that they crust on the outside, but the inside stays really cold cold still we were basically just burning these marshmallows and despite after all the burning our s'mores were still super cold to the point where we put it on the chocolate bar and it just wouldn't even melt the chocolate <laughs> that looks like little actual shreds thank you <laughs> it shouldn't crunch like that i mean like it tastes good but it's the worst s'more i've ever had in my entire life where are you going <laughs> Wait, why do you have to poop? What do you mean? We had egg hot chocolate, steak, <laughs> and these fucking. Okay, I gotta go. I can't talk. You're gonna poop right now? I can't talk. Wait. <laughs> 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 the door. Why are we so comfortable? <laughs> Please. So I turned off the camera for the last part of the night just so that Taylor and I could get some alone time. I mean, we are alone, but like without the camera being there. We spent the rest of the night looking at the stars and talking about our hopes, dreams, and aspirations. We chatted about what we wanted this friendship to become and our goals for the rest of the month. And that's my favorite type of friendship, one where we both can uplift each other. To be honest, I wasn't worrying about the emotional connection we had, but whatever this thing we have is we're gonna have to work through it especially because i'm planning on leaving at the end of the month the next morning i made sure to wake up really early to make taylor breakfast i think one of my favorite things is handing people breakfast in bed Sorry for spam fried rice. What are we doing?
eating today? Uh, a rice with spam, broccoli, tomatoes. <laughs> After a successful breakfast, we packed our bags and we got ready to leave the cabin. But before we left, we spotted this newt and it was super sad. It looked like it was dying and we did everything in our power to save it. Wait, he's alive! Is he alive? I just saw his eyes. His eyes are open now. Took the newt inside the cabin, tried to put it in water. Save him. However, everything we tried to do, it seems like it didn't work. I was reading articles online and I found out the newt was actually poisonous, which is very sad because me and Taylor were both scratching our eyes. Why did we do that? Fly home. <laughs> so Bye we left our newt on the outside table just in case he decided to wake up. Bye, fire and fire. we finally left the getaway cabin. Though it was only one day, it kind of felt like a lifetime. Not in a negative way, but because honestly, we just spent so much time getting to know each other there. Also, the things that me and Taylor were doing last night were just straight up freaking weird. This thing, whatever me and Taylor has, is obviously special. And sometimes the border between friendship and romance is crossed. I'm not sure where the boundaries lie, and I wish I could say it's all for the camera, but whatever it is, I'm going to go about it like I do everything else in life. Falling headfirst into it with no regrets. Special thanks to Taylor for planning such a special getaway cabin for us. Literally, she's so thoughtful. I mean, I guess technically she had already booked it ahead of time. Thoughtful enough to put two people on the reservation. If you guys have any questions, by the way, make sure you comment them below. Like the video for the algorithm. And if you're interested in amazing clothes like these, make sure you use my discount code PhilipVu in the description for 15% off your first cuts order. Thanks, Vu Crew. Peace.